Okay, so this right here, like this power up, I don't think it'll be that good. I don't, I don't think it'll be that good because all I think about when I see this is Akuma V skill two, and that just gives me nightmares. It's gonna be really hard. The amount of V gauge, I mean, it gives you V gauge, which is very powerful. That's very powerful. So the opponent is going to want to give you the chesto immediately, but I don't think you're gonna get away with it, right? It's it's only gonna be something if if Rose has something that really knocks you back. You're gonna be able to squeeze a little bit and it'll build up over time. Or you're playing one one of those players. You know what I'm saying? You know those players that they start off the match. They might play Ken or Ryu, for example. I'm just naming those two characters, just you know, just randomly. They start the round by jumping backwards and then they walk back on you and then they walk themselves to the corner and then whenever you come close to them, they teleport dash and jump over you those kind of players this v this card will be good because you just start i'm like okay if you're gonna run away from me i'm just gonna get full v gauge right i'm just gonna get v trigger on you so this one's like self-explanatory the damage buff on it uh when you look at the scaling in that it looks like about 10 percent you know, for combos, it doesn't matter. Like this card buff, it doesn't matter for combos. What this matters for is one hit stuff. Getting hit by random like heavy punches in neutral, getting hit by sweeps, getting hit by throws, getting hit by fireballs if it enhan if it enhances her her special moves. That's where this matters. You know, if the fireballs and the throws are getting like really good damage on each hit, like additional damage, it really adds up fast. That's that's where it matters. It doesn't, it's not more like combos, your, your combo does because of the scaling. So this is interesting, like you have to, you're gonna remember that the first two cards, they're gonna work no matter what, because it buffs, it enhances you, right? But these cards need to actually hit the opponent, right? So even though these cards look like the better ones overall, it still has to hit the opponent. They can't block it, but you still have to hit them nonetheless. So this one decreased in the opponent's attack. It looks like a reverse, right? Yeah, like a 10% damage reverse. I mean, this is good too for the same reasons, right? If you're getting hit by their random one hit stuff, it's going to really help overall. If it reduced their stun as well, that'd be very strong. I guess we can check. Let's see if it reduces your stun. Uh, it doesn't really look like it does. It's hard to say. So this looks really strong. This chip damage one. They're showing, they're showing a very hardcore example because she's literally spending full three bars to do. But it's quite huge, right? It almost looks like, almost looks like double. In Street Fighter V, you don't realize how powerful gray damage is in this game. A lot of people don't really pay attention to it. But like, you know, if like a Ryu player jumps on you, he jumps on you, he hits you with his mediums, and then he does a forward fierce on block on you, right? You know, like every Ryu player does that. It builds up a lot of gray damage. And then after that point, he might hit you with this random crouchy medium kick, or he might throw you. The cash out that he gets from that gray damage is huge. Having extra chip plus gray damage is really good. It's big deeps. So this V-Trigger 1 looks really powerful. Looks good. The utility of a move like this, just the repositioning looks good. And of course the cancel into a fireball looks strong. How many bars is this? It's a 2 bar. A 2 bar, 2 uses. She gets side switch, she gets mobility. And you can use it to reposition in zone. Like I said, this is really going to complement her V-Skill 1 too. And her V-Skill 2. Like, you're not going to be doing, like, as cool as that looks, you're not going to be doing that. The amount of scaling on that must be just insane. That's why, that's why Capcom covered the health bar. Because they don't want you to see how much scaling that move that did. It looks cool though. But I think you're mostly going to be using it to reposition and zone and be annoying and to uh or to to get toward get to your opponent fast if they have a life lead on you right or like i said the mix-ups as cool as as cool as uh rose's tarot cards are v skill 2 looks really strong because this is like it's very straightforward right if the opponent is not near you you activate v skill and now you have this orb that just is with you right so spiral right and make it safe on block like we don't know if the opponent can't even jump in on you you know, like if you're against like a Zangief matchup and you use this V skill and you get souped up because Zangief won't be able to get up to you. 
Like, will he even be able to jump in on you, for example? You know, it, it takes a lot off your mind, and it just allows you to focus on it. Like, for example, if you have this move out, you're chucking plasma. Zangief successfully guesses when you throw a fireball. He jumps in on you, and you're in recovery, but the orb hits you anyways, and then she combos you after. If you could do something like that in this game, that's very, very strong. Look how fast that bar drains, though. So it's also a, a two bar, right? They're both two bars. So, like I said before with this, the combo damage doesn't really matter. But, I mean, to be fair, she did start this combo off from a slide, which is strong. A slide is really good. But I think what's going to make this, like, what's going to determine if this is really good is how good is it when the opponent is guarding it. Will you be able to open the opponent up with this if they're guarding? You know, if you can slide in on the opponent when they're blocking it, and then you mix them up with a throw or an upside down kick, you know, is that going to open them up? It's also the conversion that ma matters, like super duper. Yeah, I mean, they look really stunned, Mirror. Like, really stunned. It looks... They're definitely intending it to end with super, so I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried that, you, hey, you activate it, the opponent down backs you, Maybe they get thrown once or twice, and then that's it. You know, that that would make people want to use V-Trigger 1. You know what I'm saying? It also uh, doubles your projectiles too, right? So that's a far conversion. That was from a standing heavy punch. Like, look how far this is, guys. Three hits on the EX. Like, this is far. Look at that. Into a heavy kick. Like, that could be annoying, you know? And like I said, if, if the opponent blocks a heavy punch that far away, and you're still able to open them up after, you know, if you get some young styles, jumping heavy punch looks good. She looks annoying, yeah. She looks like she controls a lot of space. Her normals look good. They look a little on the slow side. Probably gonna have low health, you know? But her recovery on her fireballs look really fast, and the utility of her V skills look really good. Like, that's what's going to keep you alive with a character like this. And with the two two-bar V triggers, I mean, you're getting V trigger really early. She looks fun, man. I'm, I can't wait to play her. I haven't played a zoning-like a zoning -like character in a long time, so... Like, look at this guy. Look how far that was. Like, that heavy kick was, like... Right at round start. Like, it's slow, of course, but... With the V skill 2 or protecting you... The pushback. She could even... That spiral arrow block string... Not spiral arrow. Soul spiral. Block string pushed her really far. You see, she tried to do a crouching medium punch after it looked like. Looks like her crouching medium kick is cancelable as well in the fireball. That was another crush counter. It looked like a forward, forward heavy kick or something. Look at that damage on that anti-air though, that was a lot of... See, that's, that's, a, like, that's like a realistic setup, like right here. Like right here, when she sweeps, like boom. Like this is realistic, like on, even on back rise, that would be legit pressure. Easy confirm. Look, spiral, sp why can you say spiral arrow? <laughs> Soul Spiral. Sorry, guys. I got Cammy on the brain. Uh, that looks like you can space it, you know? So you have the cards, and you have the orb to protect you. And she got a little bit of a V-gauge from that, you know? Those cr the crouching light kick goes pretty far, too. Look, like I said, that, the light version of that, the Soul Spark, looks so fast. This is a good track, DJ Vest, word. Unfortunately, she has a DP, so she can't anti-air that. But she can block it. She's, she did one slide into a throw, see, that's why I'm wondering how strong that is. Look, that looked hella plus. Insane, see, like, there. That's gonna be the whack stuff, you know what I mean? You, you lock them down with the EX orb, and then upside down kick, right? For the throw bait. And you can confirm after it. It looks hella annoying. We're gonna see a lot of that. 
And like I said, a cancelable crouching medium kick is good. Yeah, it was a counter hit, but I'm sure you're gonna be able to combo after, even to a light. I'm sure of it. That cancelable jumping medium punch. Capcom really loves to have these air to air normals. That pushback though, and that standing medium punch was insane. That pushback though. Jeez. So that was pretty good. He caught her walking backwards, right? After the block string. That's okay. Let's see the scaling on this. Yeah. You know, I missed some hits there. You combo into super. So that looks. V Trigger 1 looks obviously really good. Like, just canceling a fireball into it. That adds so much utility. Where was the viewer person? What do you guys think of this super? What's up with this super? This will look better than Falk's though? Falk has the best animation for super. Okay, what do you guys think of this costume? Everyone's gonna be rocking this costume. Dude, we're gonna have that, you know, that platinum oral running around with V-Skill 1. He's gonna jump away from you. He's gonna be super laggy. Three or two bar connection. And you know he's gonna be rocking this costume. Chop. It's probably an overhead, right? Was it an overhead in Street Fighter 3? It looks slow, it looks multi-hitting too. I wonder if like, if he gets a counter hit state, if he maintains the, the plus frames. And what was that chop after? Yeah, he, he holds it down like Yurian, right? That looks like a forward medium or something. See the heavy kick? I mean, the, the heavy kick, it's like, it's like tough to say that heavy kick will be good because the range doesn't look insane, but it also looks like, you know, not too slow. It depends like what the hitbox looks like, if it's high profile, you know? It just doesn't look like it hits far enough. Even if it's high profile, you know, it looks like he can still get hit by lows and swept because of his where his uh, other ankle is, you know? This move, like I said, this looks like the move to spam. This move looks annoying. We know it's plus enough to combo after if you space it. We, we definitely know it's high profile. Like this move looks... The, the move you spam, right? But the way, like, Oral throws you and the distance he's at, it looks like, you know, they want him to zone too. But if you're close, like, most, like, zoning characters, you know, they usually have, like, slides, you know, like, things slides underneath fireballs. Or they have, you know, the, the twirls, like, Monod and Dalsum. They have these, like, slippery kind of moves, right? But Oral's moves, they look, like, offensive. When you have moves like that, you know, when you give a zoning kind of character good close quarters, like, move list, like upside down kick with Guile, you know, a back heavy, that, that can be really annoying. And by the way, having, you guys gotta remember, having a move like that hop kick and having the overhead and you mix that with Tengu Stone, that's where those normals, like, really shine, right? Because now he has the tools to open you up. Yeah, that's the standing medium. That's what I was saying before that other normal was his forward medium punch, probably, right? His launcher. The thing is, is like, do they show how you're going to link into a normal that damn close? Like, it's gotta be hella minus on block, right? But they, they show a preview of it later, so we'll see how he comes into it. So, like, they're showing as an anti air, they're not showing that medium punch as an anti-air instead they're just using they're showing a crouching fierce another thing too with like with oro since he's so short and low to the ground that crouching fierce anti-air actually looks not bad just because of his height right the shorter the character you know the more time you're gonna have to actually land that and that crouching fierce the speed of it looks decent like i said it looks like an eight it looks like an eight i would say it looks decently fast. This one. I'm what does he link after? He shows crouching light punch. 
I don't like we don't know if Oro's got a three, but you know, he's at least plus three, at least plus three after that, right? It doesn't look like he goes straight into the medium. Unless probably counter hit it does. And this double jump. I mean we ha we already have double jumps in this game with, with uh Colleen. But Colleen's double jump is very slow and it goes at a very specific angle and she can't go straight up twice like Oro can, you know? So maybe we can see some gimmicky stuff like Oro can jump forward and then he jumps straight up to bait like a DP, for example. Whack stuff like that to be annoying. But like I said, they probably released that that whole balance change where characters when they do moves like this and they get uh and put into a free juggle state. Oral is probably one of the main reasons why they added that into the game. So if somebody reads that you're gonna do some of these whack jumps and they hit you, they're gonna hit you hard. You know? I'm going to assume Oral is gonna have uh, low health too. We'll see. But I could be wrong, right? That's another thing too, right? With the with the Tango Stone. I'm sure the Tango Stone is going to cause a lot of block stuns, so you can't command grab you, but I don't know. It's Street Fighter V. You never know with this game, right? So we got the overhead, we got the, the high profile, and we have a command grab. And there's the DP. The DP was a charge move in Street Fighter III, guys. Uh, was the command grab a hit grab? I think it was. I'm pretty sure. I just want to see if that if that DP is an actually DP or if it's a combo filler, you know? Did the hold on, let me see if the command grab side switches. Maybe the strength will determine what side you land with the command grab. I'm just curious. Okay, it was a side switch. This move is weird. Like I'm what I wonder why Kanakama added this move. Like what? What do they need it for? Oh, he can't. He juggled into it. Okay. And he comboed back into it from the EX. This is like strange. This is like strange combo filler. Maybe, maybe they added this move so he has a move that he can combo into that's not a charge to get some deeps rather than the grab. Maybe I'm not sure, but this move. At least it's it's very far reaching, so hopefully Oro doesn't have issues like Dan, you know, where certain things don't link when you hit somebody. This move's gonna be a really good buffer move too. You know, if Oro's got a good button he can buffer into in neutral and he constantly buffers into this EX move, it'll be really annoying. This 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 is the V skill, right? This looks annoying. Like, look, th like, this looks super annoying. This looks like Fang's V skill 1 on crack. Okay? Because look, pay attention to the fireball. It hits three times. It hits three times, not just a one hit fireball. This looks super annoying. And it looks like the direction you press the V skill determines the trajectory. So it's gonna go through fireballs, it goes hella slow, right? Then Oral's gonna come in and he's got all these whack normals to open you up with overhead high profile he can double jump over you with this stuff right if they it what's let me see the startup it's a slow startup though i'm just worried that like oral's gonna be able to crush counter sweep you and set you up with this with a mix you know that's probably what's gonna happen he's gonna set you up with the mix yeah you see the different trajectories right there like anything, anything in this game that's like this, where you walk forward and you have a projectile to protect you is very, very strong. It's very, very strong. That's why you see the impact of, of um, Guile on his slow projectiles, right? The, uh, we see in it with um, Yurian's V skill too, how much it helped him as well. Just anything like that. Laura, that's a no brainer. You know, this stuff is annoying. You know, thank God Oro's command grabs a hit grab. This stuff looks hella annoying. And like I said, Oro, he's got weird mobility with that double jump, you know? Maybe we can set something up. The, the startup of this V skill is hella slow. It's hella slow. So it looks like crush counter sweep certain things. Another thing too is you see that Oro's, um, his normal throws throw the opponent really far. So... 
it's probably something to complement this view skill. V skill 2 は実の虫といった新しい技です。This is a weird one. So this is kind of like this is kind of like Seth's V skill too, where you press it and then Oro like instead of dashing forward, he just hops, right? So I'm I just that hop alone. I'm curious because now you don't have the V skill one, right? That hop would be really good for mixing them up by jumping over. But if you have Tengu stones up and you combine it with this V skill, this looks like a really fast way to get in. On the opponent, just the hop itself, you know? And it can go into an overhead from it, a far overhead. Yeah, like, it looks like this looks like something that complements with, with Tengu Stone, you know? It's just like a fast way to get in. This definitely looks like this is more for like if you won't want to be a zoning kind of oral and you want to be more of a kind of a rush down pressure kind of oral, you know? This would be really good if you lag. Do you guys think this power up on his command grab with V Trigger 1? Do you think it makes it on, uh, a non hit grab? You think this is like an actual just grab, straight up grab? What do you guys think? This probably does big damage. Like this is like your combo ender, you know? This is kind of like um almost like G's. Almost like G's uh what's it called? Command grab. But you know, I don't think he has armor on it. Look how dude, look look how far he threw Akuma. Like look how far he is. We're right next to the opponent here, you probably get Okie Doki. But like right here. He, by, by the way, he converted that. He converted, so it's definitely a hit grab. He converted that grab from a standing heavy kick. You see that? Yeah, standing heavy kick right into it. And he, and he threw Akuma like literally full screen away. Because if, if you're throwing the opponent this far, you know what I mean? You gotta. This is gotta have to cost stun. Like you're gonna want to finish the opponent right here. That's a ridiculous side switch. I mean, everyone's gonna want to rock Tengu Stone, right? Because that's oral. So everyone's gonna be rocking this V Trigger at first. I wonder how long it lasts for Tengu Stone. I wonder how much chip it does. There's so many things I wonder. I wonder how many bars V Trigger it is as well. There's a lot of things I'm curious with. What's really, really good is, like, I'm really curious on his damage and his stun. I'm, his V trigger, like, his whole V system and V trigger system looks good. Design wise, they look good. They keep, kept a lot of his moves intact. The double jump and the mix ups, I think, will really determine that character's strengths. I'm really curious on how, how the V skill one is gonna go with the rest of his kit. And I'm really curious on Tengu Stone as well. But he looks good. She kind of has that like, uh, like that Blair kind of moveless vibe with her, you know, where you're kind of just doing a lot of moves, a lot of special moves that combo into each other kind of thing, you know. This is going to be like, she looks like a kind of like a button masher's dream character where you just do cool stuff right away. Okay, what was up with the fireball? She says sorry a lot. Low, she crouching medium kick cancelable, and look, she looks like she technically has records. That makes, makes me very happy. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Dude, that air combo still. <laughs> How does she start that off? What did the launcher look like? She start. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, jump, that jumping light kick, I don't know, man. At least she comboed into the launcher, you know? It's not gonna be like CVS2, like Kyosuke, where you're like, you dream of landing that air combo, but you never get it. Okay, <laughs> so is that her V trigger? Like, is that her? It looks like it's, it makes the sound of the V trigger. So is she gonna be one of those characters where. You just activate it and it's like Nadeshko and then she does crazy crazy stuff on you and you just go in. <laughs> like not only does he come down from nowhere 
right? Like Nadeshko style. But he does an additional hit right after. And what is he just poses? He's like, yo, what's up? Like, I don't know. And you probably juggle after. It's gonna be really annoying because she has that, you know, bicycle kick looking move. And then he flies. I don't know. She looks. This is gonna be fun. She looks really fun. The wave as he leaves, yeah. She looks really fast. See that that that's the kick I was talking about, you know? And Daigo comes down, is she gonna do that overhead flip kick? V Trigger 2 should have been the bike, like Ghost Rider. It's probably her V Trigger 1 then. Well, we already know her V Trigger 1 extends her records though. It's too bad. Maybe they'll change. Like, I hope her V Trigger 1, like, does stuff into the air columns. We want to see a lot of air columns with her, you know? <laughs> Pretty happy with it. Like I said, the character design is still. Looks consistently good overall. Maybe we'll wait for a month or two, but I'm really looking forward to the other characters. So I'm really happy about that. One last year of Street Fighter V, boys. Go out with a bang, you know?